do not forget the tips. One, figure out your passion, figure out your gift. Let that gift sustain you for the rest of your life and create generational wealth for you. Two, check your credit score on a daily basis. Check and make sure that your credit can be used for you to sustain life. Because at the end of the day, hey, if you don't got no good credit score, you better hit the lottery or you better ask mommy and daddy for some money. Hey, just keep in a buck with you. Number three. The Golden Gems Podcast. What's that? It's a podcast where you get your motivation. It's a podcast where you get consistent gems. It's a podcast where you get your inspiration and you sit back and just learn just a little bit. Just a little bit. <laughs> hey, welcome back to the Golden Gems Podcast, man. Thank y'all for tuning in. Thank you for always coming back. Hey, much, much love, man. Much, much love. I love you. You love me. My beautiful people, how you doing? Life good? Let me know in the comments, man. What have you been doing to elevate yourself this year? I want to know. I'm curious, man. But, hey, hey, your boy's back, man, and we coming fierce. Hey, I got so much stuff planned for y'all, man. Hey, I'm really excited, man. I am really excited. Thank y'all for sticking with your boy. Thank you for always coming back. Thank you for always showing love. And, hey, without further ado, let's go ahead and get into this video because I know y'all seen the topic of today's video. First step to creating generational wealth. I don't want to go on to other things. Hey, stay tuned for tomorrow, too. Motivational Monday. Hey, it's coming at y'all with a bang, baby. Hey, you know how I was going to put, you know, a motivational segments in every video, but I kind of want to say that for y'all tomorrow. Tomorrow? Man, I got to cut it up because your boy, hey, gems on gems coming for you tomorrow motivational monday make sure y'all tune in tomorrow but hey first up to creating generational wealth though what is your gift what is your gift everybody on this earth you have something of value you have something of value that you don't need no job for you don't need no career for you don't need a house you don't need a car for it you don't need to drive nowhere to go get it. You don't need another person to give you validation for it. Everybody has a gift that costs nothing. Your gift costs you nothing. But it will cost you something in the long run if you don't figure out what that is and if you don't find your pathway to win with it. You have to win with your gift. So what is your gift, man? That is your first step to creating generational wealth for yourself. Figure out what your gift is. Is your gift maybe talking and getting into real estate? Is your gift maybe getting into stocks and having a brain to know what is the right investment, what's the wrong investment? Is your brain functioning at a high level so that way you can attain that generational wealth? What is your gift? What is your passion, man? Because your passion and your gift, that's going to create your generational wealth, man. That's all the tips you need, man. I'm done. Turn the video off. Find your gift. Find your purpose. Find your passion. Turn it off. No, I'm dead serious. Don't turn it off. Don't, 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 don't. I'm, I'm serious. Don't, 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 don't turn it off. Hey, stop playing, man. Don't turn my video. Hey, production team is playing with me right now. Nah, but seriously, though, man. What is your gift? Your gift will supply you generational wealth. Whatever it is. Whether it's talking, whether it's being good with numbers, what is your gift, man? Because you identifying that gift is a first step and the first pathway to you attaining generational wealth. If you like investing in things and invest in things that's going to, you know, satisfy your gift, boost your gift. Because the first real step to generational wealth is believing that you can attain it. You have to believe that you can attain generational wealth. That is the first step. The first step is you saying, okay, this is my gift. This is my career that I'm going for with my gift. So how can I make enough money for myself that can sustain me for not only the rest of my life, but also sustain my family for the rest of their lives on this earth? Because creating generational wealth is wealth being passed down from you to your son, to your son's son, to your daughter, daughter's son. You understand that. So. Regardless, I'm sorry for my phone going off, but hey, the first step to creating generational wealth is you identifying your gift. So identify your gift and then you can be sustained, sustained with abundance of wealth. 
because your gift is going to lead you to attaining everything that you want. It will. Believe that. And, you know, another good thing that, you know, has just come upon me, man, is me telling y'all that creating generational wealth for yourself and for your family, it is not only one of the most important things that you can do, it's the most important thing that you will do because I believe you will do it. I believe that you will do it. I believe in you. So, so, really, how can I attain generational wealth? How can I get it? How do I go about it? Well, the first step, identify your gift. Next step is, what is your credit looking like, my guy? <laughs> hey, seriously, though, what is your credit looking like, man? You have to make sure you have established credit and that you, how can I put this? That you don't fuck it up <laughs> in blames terms. Don't fuck up your credit, all right? You have to establish credit. Credit is probably the thing that's going to be one of the keys. Unless you hit the lottery, unless you, you know, get passed down millions, then, you know, that's a different story. But most of us, we're not, you know, we're not hitting the lottery and we're not getting passed down millions. So what is your credit looking like, man? So your credit score, that's a score that stays with you for the rest of your life, the whole entire life here on earth. From when you're a pup, you get one all the way until you hit that box. Because we all gonna hit the box one day. Just pray it's not anytime soon, Father. Bless all y'all. Anyway, you know, at the end of the day, man, like your credit is key for you to attain in generational wealth. If you don't have good credit, the likelihood of you attaining it will be not slim or not hard, but it's gonna be tough. Your credit score specifically has to be. Not perfect. So you don't got to be in the 800s. You, you kind of got to be in the 700s, but it's a progression. It's a progression, aka progression to it. You feel me? So with you and your credit score, you can take out loans for your business. You can get approved for certain credit cards. You can really buy the house that you want. You can get the cars that you want. Your credit score is everything. Everything. You understand me? So even if, you know, say if you got evicted from a house, maybe you got your car repo. Maybe, you know, you ended up, you know, going on a site and somebody stole your identification number, aka your social security number, and you know, they bought some stuff on your credit. Guess what? Find yourself. I got a per I got my own personal person. Find yourself somebody to repair your credit. Repairing your credit, if your credit score is not where it's supposed to be, repairing your credit will be the key to your survival <laughs> long term. You feel me? Because at the end of the day, man, credit and your credit score is one way that you can literally pour into yourself. A lot of people don't get taught about credit scores. So they buy all these cards. They don't pay them off. They go into debt. And all that debt is accumulated to with your credit score. It's tricks and tips that can help you get that off. And one of them is finding somebody to repair your credit if your credit is messed up or if you have something on there that you don't want. Me personally, you know, I got my mother who can, you know, do that for me. I got my sister who can do that for me. I got people in my family personally, which is a blessing, who can repair my credit if I ever, you know, fuck it up. But, you know, your boy good right now. That's why you finna see more of this. You feel me? Because your credit score, man, can literally supply you with thing or everything that you need to start your business for your business to become successful because all you have to do for one is really believe in your business to be successful and if you got the right credit score for it to take off man you're gonna be good because with that right credit score like i said you can take out loans you can get a business credit cards get approved for a certain amount and go ahead and start little by little on building your business whatever it is whether it's selling clothes selling merchandise whether it's selling classes online whether it's you know, buying a fitness gym, whatever it is, it's up to you to establish your credit and let your credit be the thing that'll lead you to generational wealth building. Because generational wealth building, I'm sorry, you know, your boy is a busy man, but building generational wealth is key for you, man. It is key in having credit and the credit score to help you attain that is key for you as well. Because at the end of the day, man, your credit will go with you for the rest of your life. 
whether you have an 800 score, 600 score, 700 score, 500, don't matter. That credit score ain't going nowhere. The bureau and the government, they ain't going nowhere. You feel me? So at the end of the day, that's the next step that I want to help you with, with creating generational wealth. Make sure your credit score is where it's supposed to be. And, you know, let your credit score be the thing that you watch the most and also be the thing that you take care of the most. Don't be putting all these credit cards on your credit and not paying them off. Don't be putting all these credit cards on your credit and, you know, just letting them sit. Do something with it, whether it's starting a business, start start your business with it, fund yourself. So that way, hey, you know what? I took out this on my own. I didn't even have to take out a loan. I used my credit cards. Now I'm just paying off my credit cards. So how else can you create generational wealth? You can create generational wealth by letting your nine to five. So this is tip three. Last tip. You can let your nine to five. So the job that you're working on on a daily basis, you can let that supply your business or you can let that supply your generational wealth building. What do you mean? So what you build in generational wealth for yourself and your family, your nine to five or whatever job that you have that gives you that steady income, whether if you don't want to be a business, uh, you know, you don't want to be an entrepreneur, you don't want to start your own business. OK, that's fine. So use that 95, that nine to five and don't just wait for retirement so you can ride off into the sunset. No. Make investments, get into stocks, get into cryptos, get into real estate, get into, you know, the car business, you know, selling flip cars, selling flip houses, do whatever you have to do on the side. But you have to do something on the side these days. You have to in order to build that generational wealth, because at the end of the day, you working at 95, 995. So most I want to say eight out of 10, nine of fives ain't going to make you rich. They not. You is not going to attain generational wealth and wealth for your family's family, families. And your kids, 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 you ain't gonna do it. You are not going to do it working a nine to five. Because guess what? That nine to five is a base salary. It goes up maybe every couple of years, but generational wealth is attaining things and attaining wealth that can sustain you for lifetimes. Longer than your lifetime, your lifetime, your lifespan, I want to say here on earth. So f figure out and find, man, what is that one thing? That one thing. I'm sorry, I'm getting blown up right now. I'm going to holler at the boys later, though. Figure out that one thing, man, that one thing on the side with your nine to five that can take you to new heights. That can, you know, be like, you don't got to quit your job, but let that one thing on the side be like, okay. You know, I want to invest in houses. I want to buy another house. Me and my family already got a house. I want to buy another house. Okay, after that next house, I want to buy a multifamily home unit. Okay, now I want to go ahead and invest in stocks. I want to invest in cryptos. I want to invest in stocks and bonds as well. So my kids, when they grow up, they'll have, you know, a whole fund put up to the side. So that way they can go on to college and they can either, you know, do what they please. You know, so at the end of the day, man, focus on your credit score. Focus on using your nine to five to create that generational wealth because it's a something that can give you a boost. Because say if you did mess up your credit score, say if you did mess up your credit score, guess what that nine to five can do? That nine to five can pay off some of that debt you got. That nine to five can go ahead, give you sustainability that creditors, say if you want to take out a house loan, say if you want to take out a car loan, whatever, it's going to give you sustainability. So that way, OK, they see he's paying off his debt. He's doing what he has to do. Okay, let's give him this loan because we believe him. He has a great job. Pay it off. After you pay it off, okay, now use that nine to five to let's fund our business now. Let's go ahead and keep on saving, put money aside. Let's invest in something else that can create us generational wealth. Figure out your niche. Figure out what you like and what you want to invest in because you need to invest. That's how you create generational wealth. Invest in and not only yourself. Yourself is first. Invest in you and then invest in something that's going to be lucrative and that's going to be an asset, not a liability, assets. You have to build assets. I don't want you to take no liabilities. Liabilities are liabilities. Buy a car that ain't going to be worth junk in about a couple of years. Maybe going out to the strip club <laughs> with your homies. That's a liability night. Not really a liability, but you get the point. What is an asset? Maybe stocks, real estate. Maybe buying a car that's going to you know, go up in value, maybe buying some art, you know, at the end of the day, get assets for yourself and your family. 
because that's going to be the thing that sustains you over time. So what is number one? Find out your gift, find out your passion, because your passion will lead you to create generational wealth for yourself. Just do it one time, two times, three times, a hundred times, a million times, 10 million times. Keep doing it over and over again and let that wealth start building for yourself. Whatever it is, figure it out. And you're going to continue to sustain that wealth and you're going to continue to get more of it. You understand me? So focus on that. Focus on the little things. I believe that you can attain that by literally just figuring out your passion, figuring out your purpose on earth. And if generational wealth ain't what you want to create, then hey, don't watch this video. Bye. But if it is, step one, find your passion. Find your passion. Find your purpose. Let that lead you to creating generational wealth. Step two, focus on your credit, man. What is your credit score? How are you looking right now? How can you maximize it? How can you make it better? Who do you have to call so that way you can get your credit fixed if it's not where you want it? Step three, use that nine to five to fund whatever you need it to fund. A business, your savings account, <laughs> your assets that you want to attain. Use it. So once again, figure out your passion, figure out your gift, know your credit score. Use that credit score to maximize whatever you want to do in your life. And then step number three, use that nine to five or use an income, a steady income that can fund that business and that can fund you and, and you, 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 and have you invest in yourself over time and then start investing in other things, real estate, cars, maybe if they appreciate if they go, you know, continue to go up in value stocks, whatever floats your boat. I'm just giving y'all examples. Whatever makes you happy, invest in it. And if it can make you money, if it can make you money while you're sleeping, Airbnbs, whatever it is, let it. You understand me? So stay blessed out here, y'all. I believe that, hey, we all going to be successful. If you're watching this video, you're going to be successful. You're going to be a millionaire. You're going to create generational wealth for yourself. I believe in you. And not only do I believe in you, I believe in us. Because guess what? Hey, we in here together, baby. It ain't just you. I'm on your side. So anytime you need some motivation, anytime you need some pick me up, anytime you need some advice, just hit the comments below. Hit the show notes. I'm going to take care of you. You believe me? You believe me. All right. So thank y'all for tuning into the Golden Jones podcast, man. I'm keeping this video light, short, simple, and sweet. Don't forget the tips. Do not forget the tips. One, figure out your passion, figure out your gift. Let that gift sustain you for the rest of your life and create generational wealth for you. Two, check your credit score on a daily basis. Check and make sure that your credit can be used for you to sustain life. Because at the end of the day, hey, if you don't got no good credit score, you better hit the lottery or you better ask mommy and daddy for some money. Hey, just keeping the buck with you. Number three, use that nine to five if you got one. Use that nine to five to fund your future business. Use that nine to five to invest in yourself. Use that nine to five. I said that 95. <laughs> Use that nine to five to get and attain whatever you need in your life. And then let that catapult you. Because if you want to go into business for yourself, guess what? That 95, that 95, <laughs> that nine to five can lead you to going into business for yourself. So, hey, keep going, man. SO to the Golden Gems podcast, man. Hey, thank y'all for always tuning in. Thank you for coming back. Hope you enjoyed those tips, man. And Figure out your passion, man. Figure out what you want to do in life. Figure out what your purpose is. And your purpose is going to create all the wealth for you in the world that you need. So, hey, I'm going to leave you with this. Love what you do. Do what you love. That's what to the Go to Gems podcast, man. Thank y'all for tuning in. Thank you for coming back. And guess what? <laughs> we out. Deuces. Hey, stay blessed out here.